Hey, what's up everybody? Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we are going to unbox, test, and review the Super Console S2 Game Stick. So let's dive into it and take a closer look. All right, so we've got our Super Console S2 Game Stick Lite right here. We're gonna open this up. Really nice packaging. Very high quality box here, so it's super durable. And right here is our actual Game Stick. So we're gonna pop this out. And you can see here, it's 4K Game Stick Lite. And if we pop this top off right here, you're gonna notice that this is an HDMI connection. So I'm gonna put this back on for right now, just while we set this aside. I wanna see what else comes in the package here. Lift this off. And it looks like we've got two gamepad controllers here. Let's take a peek at these. PlayStation style. Pretty decent functionality here from what I can tell. There should be another one right here. I'm guessing same sort of deal. And I'm hearing some rattling, so I imagine we have our USB dongles inside, and we do. So these run on AA batteries. I'm gonna, well, we got this one open, so I will go ahead and set that one up first. Over here now, this is just an HDMI extender, which I was hoping would be included here because I'm gonna be running this through a capture card today. And I think that this would be a little bit too much space over here and over here to actually connect that. So I'm glad to see that we have this extender included in here. That is awesome. So what this does is it just extends the connection. So we have HDMI here and this will be able to connect over just like that. So there we go. I can put this into my capture card and we should be able to power this sucker right up. Let's see what else is included in here. Looks like we have a little cable right there. And of course we've got a pretty good size S2 game stick user manual. So I'm gonna get rid of the box. Let's take a quick little look inside here, see how it's laid out. I always go through these just to see how well they're put together. And this seems to be pretty straightforward here. We have obviously all the information on the actual controllers as well of course as the S2 game stick. Great graphics in here. It walks through the functions, layout, etc. Very well detailed, I will say that. Very straightforward. A couple different languages as well. So I'm gonna set this aside. We will use this one here. I will set this one aside because I don't need two players for this video. Got some batteries here. Helps if I have the right size, of course. All right, got some AAA batteries. We are good to go. Slide these in like so. There's our dongle there. So, I was just wondering how this was going to work, but here we go. So, two connections back here. We're going to take this power supply cable right here, undo that. That is going to plug in right here. Just like that. This we will go ahead and put right here in the end. So this right here is basically our console or our PC to emulate all the games. Everything's preloaded within here. We've got our connection for our controller and we also have this which can get plugged into a USB port. So we're good to go. I'm going to plug this end into my capture card and we're going to see what we've got going on here. All right, so once we boot everything up, this is where we're going to land. This is the master list. This includes every single title included on this console, listed on the left-hand side on a text list. And then for each title on the right-hand side, you're going to see we have a game logo, box art, and a screenshot from the game. So we don't have to choose just from a text list. We can choose from what we see populating in on the right-hand side as well. Now, I want to go up instead of down on this list just to see the total number of titles that are included on here. And there you go, you can see we have 12,937 titles in total on this particular build. So we're gonna navigate with our R1 button on our controller and we're gonna navigate to the next section over. So up at the top, you can see we're on list. Next one is going to be all of our collections. So we can see we have MAME, Famicom, uh, family computer, which is going to be your Nintendo titles there. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Mega Drive, which will also have Genesis in there. And then we have below that Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, and Atari. So nine different individual collections here. Now with R1 again on our controller, we can move over to 
our history. This is going to be a list of titles we've jumped into recently. Next one over is going to be favorites. This is a custom collection you can fully customize, add individual titles that you know you're going to want to access on a regular basis just to make it easier to navigate. Next one is going to be downloads. This is blank by default. Next one over is the find uh, search option here. So you can go in here and type in individual titles. So if you're looking for Sonic the Hedgehog, type in Sonic and you'll be able to search for that rather than having to explore through collections or from the all games list. Next one over is settings. Over here, you can see you can change language, you can reset everything, um, you can access your button tone settings, software, all of that stuff can be accessed here. So let's explore our collections. So now over here, you can see we started up here with MAME. So we'll jump into MAME and we can go through and find all of our titles. Now this particular one has, let's see, uh, 1,621 titles in here. Um, so laid out the same way as what we saw on our all games list. I'll scroll through a couple titles just so you get a feel for how everything populates in. Next collection is going to be Family Computer up here. So this is going to be your Nintendo Entertainment System titles bundled with Famicom. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through a couple titles on each of these collections. Again, just so you get a feel for how everything looks. Next one is Game Boy. Next one is Game Boy Advance. Next one is Game Boy Color. Next one is Sega Mega Drive, also Genesis. Next one is Super Nintendo. Next one is PlayStation 1. And the next one here is Atari. All right, so we're going to jump into some titles here. I want to test out the performance. So we'll jump into a couple titles from a couple different collections.
All right, guys, we jumped in here. We took a closer look at what the Super Console S2 game stick has to offer us. We have over 12,000 titles jam packed into this, nine emulators, and this is priced at just under $40. Now, I think the price point here is fair given the fact that this is a really unique design. Love the fact that we have a game stick that just plugs into the HDMI port on our TV. We power it via USB connection, which we can find on the backside of our TV as well. So we don't have to deal with a oversized cumbersome console or wires hanging from our TV. Everything is very compact, very straightforward and easy to set up. And we can take this with us on the go. If we're traveling, throw it in your suitcase. You can plug it into a TV at a hotel, a buddy's house, Whatever the case may be, this is very easy to take with you on the go. The performance now is not going to be in line with that of a Super Console X, for example, but take into consideration the price point here, we're dealing with a fraction of the price as well. So I think that we can you know, deal with some shortcomings in performance, given the fact that we're spending under $40 for everything that you see here. Now, we jumped into a bunch of different games and emulators, and for the majority of them, the experience was very good. There are some shortcomings. We jumped into Sega Genesis and we jumped into Sonic the Hedgehog. We saw significant lags and delays there. That is a fast paced game though. So take that into mind when you know judging the console here based on that title. But I did want to show you guys where the shortcomings are. Now we also jumped into PlayStation. I jumped into a lot more titles than I showed here. The majority of them ran very well. Now we jumped into Tekken, good experience there, but Crash Bandicoot, again, same as Sonic, significant lags and delays. Is it playable? Yes, but is it the experience that we all know and love with these titles? Absolutely not. So take that into mind when deciding whether or not the Super Console S2 game stick is the right choice for you. Now, all the other collections, very good experience. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. There's tons of titles in there that are super expensive to get if you were to get the original games with the original consoles. So something like this is an absolute home run because we can enjoy stuff like the Pokemon titles, for example, without paying astronomical prices for the original games. And everything for those collections runs perfect on here. Same with your old school Nintendo, same with your old school MAME collection for Classic Arcade. Very good experience on all of those. So if you're gonna get this, I would get it for those collections more so than those fast paced games in Genesis or those more demanding games in the PlayStation collection. I think you should just look at those collections maybe as bonuses and if titles that you want to play work in there, then that's awesome but don't get this console purely because you want to play PlayStation games because it's going to be a little bit hit or miss there. Same again for those fast paced games in the Genesis collection. But overall, great experience here, especially when considering the low price point for everything that you see here and the fact that it is very portable and easy to set up on any pretty much any modern day TV. So let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of the Super Console S2 game stick here. If you want some more information, I'll put a link up here at the top of your screen as well as in the description so you can click over, get some more information on what this has to offer and where you can get it from. But that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.